In this video, I spent 24 hours grinding. So that way I could become the Wizard King inside of Grimroar's era. Now this is a brand new game, came out just a few days ago. So I decided to spend a bunch of time just grinding up the release. And I must say there isn't a whole lot of this game yet, but the stuff that is in the game, I do see a lot of potential in. And I'm not gonna lie, we also got insanely lucky in this video. The luck in the intro is the main reason why I just rushed grinding through the entire game. And the luck it really did continue throughout the entire video. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I want to do, just like any good game on Roblox, I want to enter some codes real quick. And of course, I have a really good one right here. Two million visits. That just gave me 30 spins of auras and races. We also have a few others. I don't know how many of these work. That one's failed. This one also failed. What about this one? Okay, that'll work. We got some Grimoire spins. And I think that might be all I need. I think this one worked. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that one gave... Oh, that one gave me a lot. It gave me spins of each one, but it also gave me an hour of luck and experience. Okay, we're gonna have to use that soon then. Not want to waste experience boost. But now that we've done that, let's rejoin the game again. I have a good reason. Oh, actually, wait, one more thing. Let me actually head over here and collect the daily reward. Just get that, which gave us aura spins. Okay, we'll, we'll use those later. Oh, it actually rolls how many we get. Okay, we get four. That's on the higher end. We can get up to six. Not too bad. Okay, rejoin. Okay, let's go ahead and do race rerolls. We have 45 races. Let's see if we can get devil. I actually don't even know if we're gonna get it or not. There we go. Easy devil. Oh, that's a good one too. There's a 0.5% chance. Uh, plus five damage, plus five plus five lifesteal. Now, a uh, qu quick quick thing before we actually truly get started though, but playing, I will note that I have not watched a lot of Black Clover. I have watched a little bit, but not most of it. Oh, we got like horns. We got like a devil aura too. So we actually get like visuals for doing that. Really, really cool. But let's see. So because we haven't leveled up yet, but we have stat points. I'm going to go ahead and put my stats into melee. I'm not sure what the best stat order is but i do have one reset stat for later but we can also we can also spin our aura do you know what let's see if we get ourselves the cursed aura too Let, let's just go the full way and, oh we just rolled saiyan oh yeah that's 1.9 what does this look like yeah look at that okay that's actually kind of cool you know what? we're gonna keep that for now i don't know what devil looks like, our cursed aura it would be fitting because we're aster right now Okay, interesting way to start. The first thing we do is track our quest and let's start leveling up. We need to get level 15. I think it's level 15 if we want to get our Grimoire, which we also have a bunch of spins for that. And knowing my luck so far, we might get lucky and get ourselves a super rare one. I'm not even sure which ones are good. Let's see, our first quest is to defeat eight bandits, which are these guys. And we can literally only defeat them by punching. That's all we have access to right now. I'm just gonna group them all up at the same time. This, this should be effective. There you go. Well, we got most of the kills there. Probably shouldn't group them up just yet. I, I don't have the health to do that. But guys, our main goal right now is, from the little bit I've played, is get level 15 in order to get access to our Grim Roar. And luckily, we have a time to experience, so that should be pretty fast, actually. We leveled up. There we go. Oh, yeah, because we have lifesteal, whatever I deal damage, I heal tiny bits. That's making this a little easier. Okay, just one more. Now, oh, that's a lot of levels. Hey, we're level 15 now. We're level 17. Okay, that's good. And that, uh, I think we also unlock another quest, but I'm just gonna rush all the way this direction because if I follow this path for like an, for like an hour, we'll make our way all the way to the magic tower. And once we get in here, the Grimoire Tower, we can go ahead and talk to the dealer and we have 16 spins to try to get a Grim. Regen, reinforcement, bronze, fire, water, dark, wind, and anti-magic. And of course, whichever one we'll get, I'll do my best to match to the character if it's on Roblox. Okay, let's see. Spin! Regen. I think that, okay, that one literally just gives me heal. Okay, we do not want regen. Come on, give me like dark or wind. That's bronze. Eh, that's kind of cool. Not really. I want to get like a really cool one. There's water. Oh, we get dark. Awesome. Oh, and with it, we get a sword. Does that mean we have sword damage? You know, I, I have a way to test this. I put my stats in the magic. What, what does cut do? Ooh, it throws a cut. Okay, let's see. So if I punch with my fist, right now we deal 11 damage. If I swing with my sword, 26. Ooh, that's way better. 98. That is actually really good. I mean, use the ability on them, all right? Yeah, we can't hit all of them. Oh, that's good. Or we just regenerate and do it again. I just took zero damage. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna like this one. We're probably gonna use this one. But I just want to see what it scales off of. Okay, there we go. So 26 and 98. 
If I go ahead and put one stat into magic, 27. Okay, that skills off of magic. What about this? 101. Okay, now let's see if this, now let's see if sword infects it. 27. Okay, I don't think the sword affected that. And I don't think, let's go ahead and use this again. Okay, no, so this entirely scales off of magic. Everything I have here. This was actually really good then. So I don't need to have any strength. Okay, that should be good. I just, I'm just a little demified. I'm not gonna lie, I wish it didn't change his skin color. I wish it was just the aura and the horn. Because I can't look at the part as well. Is that the boss? Oh, yeah, let's fight the boss. The evil old man. 5,000 experience, Duke. Let's do it. Hold Z and throw it. 138 damage. That, oh, that did a lot of damage to me. Yeah, no, I'm not getting close to you at all. Have fun standing over there. I'm gonna sit here, regenerate my mana, and just keep throwing blades at you. You know what? I like this. I like this Grimoire. This is a good one. Unless it just doesn't want to hit. You dead yet? Ah, hi. I miss. I got to be like right on. Oh, you're just not wanting to hit. Well, you are the evil old man. So it makes sense. That's a lot of levels. There we go. That's five levels. Awesome. 15 more points. Let's dump it all into magic because I don't need more mana yet. And I don't, I, he has to, we have to wait for him to respawn. Bessie, do we, can we go somewhere else now? We can, 2,000 meters this way. Okay, then. Let's go this way, then. Yeah, see, I'm guessing evil nobleman first. It is. We have to defeat eight of them. Is that who you are? Yeah, you are. Cool. I do a lot of damage to you because of the really good roll I got. And you know what? Actually, because now we're actually at the point we're leveling, let me enter more codes. I have a few more. What about you? He has luck. What about you? Experience. And you, Yen. Ooh, I like, I like double Yen. That sounds good. Yes, more evil level men. Let's do it. And there we go. Okay, level 42. That's more than enough. Uh, let's dump magic. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't need more mana yet because my skill only uses 50 and I have 150 total. Let's see. Desert Wizard. We have to defeat eight of them. They give 5,000 experience per quest. 10,000 because of the boost. I guess it's you guys. You guys. Like I do most of your health with one ability. That's good. Well, there's more people grinding here, so I won't group them all up. But there you go. Two more levels. Now we can go ahead and put more into magic. More damage. One in doubt. One shot your enemy. You can't take damage if there's no enemy to give it. And there we go. Level 52. We overshot it. Okay, that's good. Okay, one more ability in there. Now we have Dark Slash. How much mana do you require? 150. Okay. Let's put the rest of those points into mana. That should be that, that should give me enough to do both my abilities and back off. Let's see what it does. Hold it, nothing. Let go. The dash forward so I can dash through my enemy. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and accept the quest for the Fire Wizard. And it tells me where he's at. Okay, good. I was about to say, I haven't seen a Fire Wizard. Go hunt him down. I also bet that is a lot of damage, considering I needed 100 for it. If I keep this one and I don't roll a new one, I'll probably reset my strength, my stats, and dump my strength into like my defense and mana but i'm gonna wait to do that till i understand truly what i want to do i might want to dump it into sword instead are you the fire wizard okay that's a player is his name you don't have a name okay let's try it 300 damage on that not too bad and 300 damage on that too so cool now that i did that i can just back off for a second regenerate and then do it again look at that that's nice that one missed and the dark cut hit for once thank you oh he's almost dead let's just punch him there we go bunch of levels look at that one two three four five six seven we're at 59 after one kill i I love that it gives a lot of experience because I can't find him for a while. I have to wait for him to spawn in again. I wonder if they drop anything because they have luck. I bet that's for drop. Well, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and put those stats. Man, I don't, I don't, I'm guessing we'll, let's, let's put more defense because we're going to need it soon. Let's get let's get a thousand health. There you go. One thousand health. And let's put the rest of those stats. Let's even up to 250, like even numbers. And then let's go ahead and put the rest in the mana and the magic. Okay, that should be good for now. I am liking this game. This game is actually, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Here you go. Finally, our next quest. So our, the levels are 75. I level 100 for the next one and then 125. So now it's every 25 level. And here we go. I joined a basically empty server to guarantee no lag. And it is so much better. If you're running into combat issues, just rejoin. It makes it so much smoother. My abilities actually hit. Oh, it's so nice. They're faster too. Everything about it. I love it. That would have been nice earlier. It really would have been. And okay, there we go. Level 100. You're also now up to 200 magic. 50 more to go, and then we have our next ability. Now, but now we're level 100, we now have access to the Corrupt Dark Wizards, which hopefully won't be too much more difficult. Luckily, because of the much better server. Yeah, figure these guys out. This is actually really easy once you understand the combo, but there we go. Now we have enough points for the third skill, Dark Tip. Let's see, what does this do? What did that do? Is that a teleport? It's a teleport that eats up like all of my mana. Look at that. It takes a 300 mana. Man. 
I want another attack. I can't use that. Okay. And okay, there we go. Now we're level 126, which, okay, we also have 2,000 health now. Which means we can now fight the corrupt wizard, who I think is still alive, but he's all the way over here. Let's see if we can defeat him before my experience runs out, because I only have three minutes left of my boost, and then I'm grinding really slow. Oh, he uses he uses my skills. Okay. Basically just fighting myself. A lot of health. It'd be nicer if I had, you know, more than two attacks. Slow and steady. Okay, he's almost dead. Oh. So am I, because like I hit once. There we go. Okay, four levels for that. Awesome. I got 12 more points. Well, shoot. Okay, I'm guessing let's just upgrade our magic stats. I'm going to guess considering our current top quest, 125. I'm going to guess I need to get level 150. Hopefully just 150 for me to unlock the next um, quest. I'll say, you know what? Because I want to see what accessories actually do, and I want more um, experience. I mean, this is basically just paying the price for an hour of each boost at the same time, but I also get two accessories. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the starter pack. I mean, I'm not buying anything else for now, but that 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 should be enough. Let's see what we get for that. We get a Mars coat, which gives me health and mana, and then a necklace. This is Yuno's necklace, which also gives health and mana. Can I equip both of them? I can. Is that actually on my avatar? It is. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Let's see, is that enough? It is enough. Okay, level 150 was the next quest. Oh, that's good. Before we head over to the next quest, though, Corrupt Wizard Boss just spawned. Let's kill him. There we go. Three levels for that. Awesome. Okay, let's head to the next quest now. Ah, it's the quest over by uh, the Grimoire Tower. We gotta defeat banded commoners. Yeah, these guys shouldn't be too bad. They have a thousand experience per kill too, which is really nice. So we should get a lot of experience for this. Yeah, look at that, bunch of levels. So according to the NPC, I'm gonna be doing this until level 175. Honestly, even though this skill set only has two abilities that I could use at least until like super high level, it is not that bad for grinding, especially if we do it right, but let's go. We now have enough to do bandit noblemen. I also have no idea where they are. They're all the way over there that is like very far well I'm, I'm gonna go kill them once how do you even get up there i need to fly okay how do i get a fly one second let, let me check the discord if i could fly i could kill those guys easier but i do not have one right now apparently it's all the way over here yeah i literally can't get up there if i even ever wanted to which i do and you've got to be kidding me well i can fly now <laughs> let me show how i did it my darn recording crash okay so cool so if i just head all the way over here this is the map i'm following I'm going to the red circle right now. And all you have to do is you have to get the white line that plays. It's a mini game. You talk to this guy. I already learned how to fly, but if you talk to him, the broom guy, then play his mini game, which is basically just a get the line inside of the box. And it's moving really fast back and forth. If you do it successfully, you have like three chances to fail. Then you get yourself the mount. Dang it, I'm so mad at Crash because the mini game is a one time use. Man. Tiny but annoying, but look at this. I figured out how to fight with this thing. It's actually really cool. Wah. I, I learned how to fly, trust me. That, that, that was on purpose. Okay, so if we go ahead and... Now they're like all lined up. So if I go ahead and just do this attack, it's all of them. And if I get them lined up like this, then hit them all with that, then I can move this again, and then they all die. That is actually really smooth. It really helps too that I can basically dump all of my stats and magic because all of my melee damage and everything stacks onto it. I bet anti-magic does the same. Anti-magic might actually be different though because Asta doesn't have magic. At least, I don't know if he gets it later considering the cool transformations he gets. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I, I haven't watched all of Black Clover. I'm still very early into it. I just know he doesn't have magic. And there we go, level 200. So with that, we can now kill the Bandit Royal, who's also up there. 40,000 experience. Okay, this is going to level me up a lot. My lord, you law damage with your ability. I need to make sure to dodge that. Okay, this should kill him now. There we go. Ooh, let's go. we got a drop. Finally, we got something. We got a silver sword at 30%. Interesting. Well, there you go. A new weapon. Also, plenty of levels. I don't think that would do much damage, though. It has skills, but just checking. It only does 11 damage. Okay, that's not worth using. Okay, finally. Okay, look at this. I finally have 500 magic. And I can't get any more. It maxes out at 500. Interesting. Well, I'm curious now. Okay, so if they max out at 500, a lot of games have their level max out at this. If max out was 500 which means about like halfway, almost halfway done. And I get about three points per level. That means I can max out three stats. So I'm guessing what you want to do for your stat setup is you max out your health and mana. Well, not your mana, your uh, magic. Then you have like a decent amount of mana, depending on how much this ult does, the dark ultimate. And then you have like your rest and like sword or melee. But let's see, if I go ahead and use the V, it's an ultimate. It killed me though. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Be farther away. I figured it would either make me invincible or it would just not do that. Okay, let, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, let's get myself right here and press V. Oh, no, 
not too bad. Well, it killed a few of them. It didn't hit all of them, though. I use it here. Like, how much range does this have? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, it's a giant slash. It goes forward. That isn't too bad. I mean, that's kind of hard to use. And not gonna lie, I could use a little bit more, like, warm-up noises. But it's not too bad. Okay, I'm guessing now that I have my... Like, I literally can't get any more magic stat. I'm gonna dump all into health, I guess. Man, so I basically have two attacks. I mean, I'll stick with this for a while. But my goodness, I might need to get myself a new ability. Well, on the bright side, I can use it to start fights with bosses. Boy, I have 4,000 damage. It's not too bad. That is worth starting fights with. And oh, I didn't even notice. I can actually go to the next quest now. Okay, let's head over. All right, here we go. Next quest area. These guys shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, they're already pretty grouped up. It would also help if I fought the right enemies. Apparently, these are the blacksmith. Yeah, these are the right guys. And there we go, level 250. If I'm right about bit max level being 500 right now, that means that we are now halfway done. Now we can kill the corrupt commoners, which is a bit more experience. I also think I'm going to go ahead, and this is the last Robux we're going to spend on this video. I'm, I'm going to buy the times to experience, so that way my end of the video speeds up, because I don't show most of the grinding. I skip through that in my videos, where I'll show like the beginning and anything cool i figure out like how to actually fight so just to speed this up for myself i'm gonna go ahead and buy six hours of double xp i'm not gonna buy any yen or luck to not increase that if anything i'm actually getting myself less money and less that gave me 12 hours. Let me make sure I didn't buy the 12 hour one. One second. Transactions. Purchases. No, yeah, I bought this one and it just gave me 12 hours. Even better. Cool. I have 12 hours of experience for the price of six. Unless the timer is also broken. But yeah, I don't show most of the grinding. Like I just did like probably like 15 rounds of killing. and I didn't show a single one of them. Nor record it. And... Ah, oh, we're just blowed 300. Dang it. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Level 300. First try. Okay, correct. Corrupt nobleman now. This guy gives 60,000 experience. Okay, let's definitely kill this one. Let's do it. But there we go. Okay, five levels for that. Not too bad. Oh, I just got the Psy from the corrupt noble boss. There we go. Another weapon. Look at that. I was stabbing myself in the eye. Brilliant. Oh, well, I found where you buy Grimoires at. The spins. It's 50,000 yen for 10. I have 16. My goodness, that's a lot of money. And in fact, there's something I want to do right now because I have a bunch of money and I have a bunch of experience boost. I'm not too worried about rushing it because I'm at level 331. I have, I think, 170 more levels to go if my max level is correct because there's only one group of enemies for me to kill that I haven't gone to yet. I want to go ahead and buy all the upgrades I can. Master the Art of dashing, I can teach you as well, but it comes at a price 10,000 yen. That is expensive, but dashing, I do like dashing. Hey, well, let's buy that one. Why not? Use dash 100 times. Oh, I probably shouldn't have bought that. Oh, I thought it would just give it to me. Okay, one second. I can't cancel it either. Otherwise, I have to pay the money. Well, it looks like I'm going to dash 100 times real quick. Give me a minute. And there we go. Okay, I've awakened my dash. What is it now? Oh, it's faster. Look at that. I was pressing it full speed earlier. It's way faster. Yes. Oh, I didn't even realize. I was just, I've was i been running through killing all the bosses in a loop because they have a lot of experience. And this is like not as repetitive as doing the same enemies over and over again. And I got the mace weapon from the first boss, the old man. Awesome, that's three swords I'm never gonna use. Brilliant. I go ahead and fly over here. There should be something pretty cool. The one area I haven't been yet. Yeah, look at this. It's the giant demon skull from the main character's village. No statue though on top. Well, I wanna come over here because I wanna fight the boss. Well, I guess not because someone else was already killing it. Well, that's the final area. I'll be there pretty soon. I'm nine levels away. Okay, let's do this now. Let me go ahead and do this. 5,000. Oh, it's a, it's a rhythm game. I hate these. Well, not a rhythm game, but it's a clicker. Click the circles at a specific amount of time. I'm getting hang of it. And we got this. This, is, this isn't too bad. There you go. I just, had to get, I just had to get a hang of it real quick there. I wasn't expecting that. That was cool. Awesome. So now I have mana sense. How do I use mana sense? You didn't exactly teach me how to use it. Spamming keys now. Oh, okay. It's L. Oh, it's taking up my mana. I don't know what that is, but I have it. Okay, that must be like a player sensing. That's why I can't see anything because there's no one in my server. Quite peculiar, but I have it now. Perfect. Oh, and there you go. From killing bosses, we're now level 350, and I was right. Cool, that's the next quest. I am entirely guessing, by the way. I do not know what I'm talking about at all times. Yeah, there he is. Exiled Magic Knight, Captain. This is the guy to kill. And the one I was trying to kill earlier before the other guy killed him. They don't take long to respawn, especially if you're just cycling bosses. So let's let's try to kill him. I'm not, I, I can't get a quest for it because I need like level, I think, 450. So for now, let's just do that. What is your, what is your attack? Yep, okay you're, okay, you're basically just a water boss. Got it. Ow, you do a lot of damage, though. And... 
There we go. I got 12,000 experience just for killing them. So I leveled up, but no drops. Okay, time to do the quest. So that one is 400. This one is 450. So yeah, I bet 500 is max. At this point, 500 is definitely max. Ah, I was right. I, yeah, when the people with magic have a lot more effects around them. Look at that. That's cool. And there we go. Okay, this should be enough levels. It is. There we go. I now have max defense. And as you can see, I can't put any more points. Oh, with the wizard hat. That's actually a really good drop for me. It's a 10% chance rare. 500 health. But let's see. Do I, do I actually have a wizard hat on now? Let me see. I do. I have a wizard hat. That's awesome. Oh, I'm having, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> okay, back to grinding. And oh, here we go. I just, I didn't even notice it. Dang it. I was talking to someone. I was telling someone if our tower was. I got the scarf. Let's go. That replaces the necklace. So, wait, is that even better? Oh, it's not even better. Okay, cool. I'll keep using necklace then. Well, still, I got the scarf. There's another item that I now have that I don't need to get anymore. Not too bad. We're doing good. We only have a few more drops left. I think it's literally just like two more. And then we have everything in the game. I have 10,000 cash. I have over 10,000. Let me go ahead and talk to this NPC. I want to do this master of jumping thing. Let's see what this is. Use double jump 100 times. <laughs> Why? I had a feeling it was going to be that, but I'm guessing let's do it. I shall jump my way back to the level 400 area. And there we go. So now, oh yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Five jumps midair. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, cool. So now I, that's, that's actually a pretty big upgrade. I go from a double jump to a five jump. Yep. All right, you know what? We're just going to do it now. I, I want to change Grim Roars. I've been using this one for like a few hours. I'll let's get a new one. So we, we only have seven rolls. How much is it for spins? Okay, wow, that's a lot. 2499 for 100 that, That's the best price too, sadly. Well, either way, it's a 0.9 for wind. Well, let's just go ahead and try to spin, I guess, is what we get. Bronze. Reinforcement. Let's see what this does. Oh, we need strength stat for that one. Okay, we can't use reinforcement. Dark again. Oh, we only have three left. It's so risky. Ah, whatever. Let's do it. Bronze. Okay, do you know what? Let's reroll. Let's see. Reinforcement. Okay, I'm paying for rerolls. I don't care. We're doing it. That gave me 200. Actually, wait. So, 2499 divided by 200. Yeah, that's like 12 Robux per reroll. That's actually much better than what it was. I basically paid half price. Man, all their stuff's broken. All their stuff's doubled to what it actually is. Wind! Awesome! And you know what? We're gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep my rerolls because apparently anti-magic is worse. From what I've read, I was reading through Grim Roars because I was like, mine's kind of lackluster, but still pretty good for grinding, which is why I kept dark. Apparently, wind is amazing right now. But let's see. We have wind spear, which does 1,500. Then we have hurricane. That's, that one would be really good for collecting. I think that's the good one for collecting. And then we have this one. That dealt 2,000. Really good. Okay, let's now go ahead and press V, which gives... Ooh, black bars that are not straight. Awesome. Oh, and because of that, I have a melee. Look, I have a sword. And it's not draining mana, so that's permanent. Awesome. Well, with that, we have three new abilities. We're also faster. Wind Blast. Basically the same thing, but it's longer for 2,300 damage. Then we have Wind Race. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Me like. And then my fly is now different. My fly is just me hovering. Okay, do you know what? We need a Uno outfit now. We're Uno. Okay, there we go. Now we look at the parts. So if I go ahead and transform, we temporarily take off all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We look way better. We look good. It's now Uno time. We even have his necklace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we're perfect. It should also be even better for grinding because, like, all these abilities are just better. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's good. And yes, we have the glasses. Oh, that was perfect time to get them, too. That is a 10% chance drop. I can also equip those. And A, let's go. Just got necklace, too. Okay, there we go. We're now level 452 which is more than enough to do the last quest to kill the exiled magic knight captain. 80,000 experience for that. Actually really good. I'm going to get myself like four levels for this. And look at that. One little combo did so much of his health. There we go. Look at that. Five levels actually. Really, really good. There we go. Finally, we got the bracelets. There we go. Take, that take a slot. No, that's, that's, that's its own slot too. There we go. So those are the five best accessories. Bracelets, glasses, wizard hat, neck 
yeah, Yuno's necklace and Mars's cloak. Really good. We have a lot of mana from those and health. And there we go. Level 499, if I'm correct. Killing the final boss in the game should give us more than enough experience to get to the last level. But this fight's going pretty well. I'm not going to lie. I'm liking Wind much better than I am than I was Dark. And there we go. And I was right. Look at that. Level 500. It doesn't say max anywhere, but if you look at the experience amount, only 180. But yeah, there we go with all of those stats. I guess I'm going to put all 30 of these in the mana. We now have maxed out our game. We have all the items. We have the technically best Grim. Uh, tech, anti is rare, but this one's better. All the accessories. And I could spin for the Cursed Aura, but yet again, I don't know what it looks like. And, not, and I do kind of like the idea of having a Super Saiyan Aura. It is actually pretty cool. So overall, we did really, really good. Look at us. We're awesome. We look amazing and so chaotic. So I guess, hope you enjoyed this video. This took me about, I'm going to say like eight hours. I'll definitely say we are one of the strongest players in the game right now. We're amongst all the people that got max level. So technically amongst the best. If you do want to see more of this game, let me know. They'll have more stuff for me to do pretty soon, hopefully. And overall, I'll say that this was a lot of fun. Can't wait to see more from this game.